And because of that, because of our sin, before the Holy Spirit opens our eyes, we are blind to who Jesus is. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, you don't have to go there, but it says, The God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers that they might not see the glory of Christ. And maybe you're here today and you believe this popular myth, kind of that the churches have preached about many times, that you've got to clean yourself up before you come to Jesus. Maybe, maybe you're here right now and you're like, you don't know what I did last night. Maybe you're even still a little hungover from the party you were at last night. Or maybe, maybe you're on our iCampus and you just don't want to go to church because you, you don't believe in God at all. Or maybe, maybe you're addicted to pornography. Or maybe you've been doing drugs and you just can't beat the habit. And you're like, I'll, I'll start going to church. I'll, I'll believe in Jesus once I clean my life up. Let me clean up the way I talk. Let me clean up the way I dress. And that is a lie from Satan. Jesus pursues this woman's salvation in the midst of her sin, and Jesus also pursues our salvation in the midst of our sin. It doesn't matter what your last night looked like. It doesn't matter about those things that you've done, but it's kind of crazy because think about your spouse, or if you're not married, think about your girlfriend or boyfriend or just one of your best friends. If they knew every single thought that you've had, if they knew every bad thing that you've done, would they still want to be in a relationship with you? Probably not. And yet Jesus knows that he is God. He knows every thought. He knows every word before it even comes on our tongue. And yet he pursues a salvation with us. How awesome is that, that we serve such a gracious God? <laughs>